My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you doing? How was your weekend? Dumbity, 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 dum. James, I went to a comedy show, pop-up comedy show Friday night. I got fitted for a suit Saturday, a friend's birthday brunch Saturday, and then yesterday... I saw our friend Rob. He's actually in town for a work thing. What's the pop-up comedy show? Holy smokes. And then White Lotus. So they have a comedy show, but they don't tell you where it is until the day of. I know. It was at a Samsung store. It was actually... No, they had like a stage and stuff. It was cool, but I was that emotion going into it. Yeah, there's no way that was good. It was. It was. Imagine being a comedian and they aren't going to tell the crowd who you are. You must be awful. Yeah. We're not going to let people know ahead of time it's you because they might not come. It's the perk of New York City, baby. Everything's good. Ooh, pop Make the up. noise. Ooh, that noise? <laughs> oh, this noise. That should have hit. We all agree that should have hit. Sounded cooler last Good time. Noise. And with that, let's go to the sports. James, the big news from the sports world last week, Aaron Arson Judge signs the biggest contract ever reportedly. Well, the way it went down, I know it's a couple days removed, but we were at winter meetings and your guy John Heyman was on it. So I don't know, a lot of money, big guy. My stock rises. Your stock rises. As the only person in the world right. who the start of every free agency says, attention, attention, anyone who will listen to me, mute John Heyman, do not read his tweets, do not let it affect your brain. Right. My stock rises way up. As like, should have listened to Jimmy. Your hand motions today are real good. Thank you. Uh, but yes, and then everyone listened to him. No, man. You, you know could, what? We didn't right. because we missed the first because we were smart. So I just saw, and that we, because we were together, yeah. the second one. And we were like, what? Yeah. What did you, what are you backtracking? And we we're like, ah, oh, oh. wild. The story of the summer, man. Yeah. Uh. But if you see how Heyman operates in person, you're not going to take anything he says. What do you mean? Have you, do you have any video footage of that? Slunk, slink, crunk. What was this almost a breakdown you're talking about? It's for the dogs. A dog ran on the court during a game between American University and George Washington University, Jake. It was uh, very quick into the game. It was like, oh, the first 30 seconds. The dog was actually the halftime show, and he was like, this opening act sucks. Right. I'll just go on right away. The one player and the coach get real scared, and I don't blame him. You turn around, there's a dog on the court. You're, oh, yeah. how'd that happen? This wild dog? No, I love dogs. Dog on a basketball court is yeah. like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, this kind of isn't a dog area. I do want to point out the videographer just totally beats the photographer. The videographer gets the perfect shot, films the dog. Photographer lost. Like, what was that? It was a dog. dog. So, like, what's the most exciting thing to happen at that basketball game? Dog on the court. Did you get any pictures? No. The name of the company is Mutt's Gone Nuts. So, bonus points there. And Jim, you pointed this out, the color commentary. Steals the show. I, sweet BBD is in here because uh, Zach's yeah. grown up, I think he said. Yeah, he's got, he's got the flu. But like, this is going to become BBD's favorite clip, I think. The color commentary guy. I mean, just play the audio. Oh, my God, I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> Needs to, we need to use that as a soundboard. I think board. it's going to make the soundboard. So, yeah, that was the dog named Lucky who catches Frisbee at, at halftime. Mutt's gone nuts. Let's go back to the sports. Back to the sports. First, should we tell the people about Mizzen and Maine? I'm wearing oh. some. You're wearing some. Oh, show them your tag. <laughs> That's nice. Go get yourself some Mizzen. And, Jim, in this more sports, World Cup is grooving on your Morocco, the song of the summer. But, Jim, we had thousands of viewers trying to get an illegal stream going to watch the World Cup. Turns out they were watching pixelated FIFA 23 games. With? With? Was it Indonesian announcers? Philippine announcers? They had the real announcers. Right. Like the real radio. Viet Vietnamese, Vietnamese commentary. So the Vietnamese commentary Geo was. guys. España? Were people that were playing the FIFA game trying to mimic the game so the scoreboard always lined up? Could they have made this FIFA game like 10 nothing and the the people watching would be like, oh my God. I think they had to add a real element. My first thought process, which... My third thought process, I'll get to after your first. Which basically, I think would have been cool is if they could have live, like, acted out the game. That's what I... I You're basically watching the game. I mean, yeah. where, where you ended up with it, the 10 nothing, like, they definitely had to be conscious of like, hey... Well, unless they want to trick people. Let's not make this a blowout. Oh, oh my God, God I, I love it. it. Oh, you're going to love this Not Sports. Have you read this? You know where I'm at with this Not Sports, but tell the people. Wait. 
Bang. So in China, there's this guy named Lou. He's 39 years old. He's from Zhejiang. You sound off kilter today. Okay. <laughs> It's good. No sleep. I know. <laughs> There's this guy named Lou. He's 39 years old. He's from Zhejiang, China. He went to the doctor. He said, I am having terrible digestive pains and my abdomen and my back and all my insides Chest, hurt. everything. And the doctor said, well, did you eat any weird game lately? Did you do anything odd? And then his wife said, Actually, yeah, he ate thing. a live crab the other day. There's Doc. one thing we're ignoring. He's currently. like, oh, why'd you tell on them? Yeah. And then they're like, why did you eat a live crab? And he said, well, it nipped at my daughter when we were hanging out by the stream. Right. So I had to avenge her and get my revenge on the crab. So he ate it live. You understand why this is tough for me? Because I will do anything in the name of humor. If I needed to take a bite out of a live crab to make someone laugh, I would obviously do that. Yeah. So to find out that he didn't take a bite out of, of that, crab. <laughs> he ate the whole he thing. Ate the whole thing. <laughs> it's, I'm guessing he was well, a little guy. That's, I would because I'd be doing it for a joke. He was doing it for revenge. His wife watched him do and, this. Yeah. She never. They never talked about it until this moment. Mommy, why isn't he telling them he ate that crab? Oh, Daddy's a psycho, and we're scared of him. <laughs> <laughs> It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee. Maybe hasn't gotten it yet. Definitely hasn't. Employee of the week goes to. This jacket looks big on me. Keep doing what you were doing. Don't lose that. Oh no, Christina Connor. Christina Connor. Yeah, two first names. Girl name and a boy name. Honorary. She's responsible for all this. What do these say? Believe. Marion Bright. Oh, Belize. Warm winter blessings. It's not warm out probably that much. It's cold. It's freezing. It has gotten cold. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Mizzen and Main. Do you enjoy being comfortable in your good-looking clothes? Do you prefer to be flexible while looking delicious? Well, Mizzen and Main has you covered. I can tell you firsthand that their dress shirts are actually the best dress shirts I've ever worn. Possibly the best part of their dress shirts is that they are machine washable. That means no more expensive trips to your dry cleaner. Plus, for the cold weather, they've got amazing flannels, pants, sweaters, and jackets. And if somehow you still aren't a believer, they've got over 30,000 five-star reviews. So if you want the best cold weather clothing this holiday season, check out Mizzen and Maine. Right now, if you go to MizzenandMaine.com and use promo code dumb you'll receive $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more that's $35 off when you go to m-i-z-z-e-n-a-n-d-m-a-i-n.com and use our promo code dumb oh my god i love it i don't even (laughs) understand what he says next my friend border collie cindy's birthday yesterday my friend border collie cindy's birthday yesterday so maybe that's uh, my my dog frankie's going crazy at home he wants to get on the call Maybe that's, those are the words. <laughs> I think he. I think, he's I think saying, what he does, he combines like my. Three, fr- I think he's saying my friend Cindy's border collie's birthday was yesterday. But that's <laughs> wild to know that. <laughs> no, I hang out with you every day. Like I, have, I do not know when your dog's birthday yeah, is. Yeah, I don't. I don't know my dog. <laughs> I don't know either. Uh, and then he goes. So maybe that's. And then he just ditches that whole theory because he's like right. that. And he goes. My dog Frankie's going nuts at home. He wants to be on the court yeah it's like oh man he's kind of doing like the my family's watching at home i think he was doing like you know my dog's watching the broadcast he's got to be loving this but combining it with those two thoughts he's just trying to fill fill oh my god i love it trying to fill it with color man say something cool say something cool say something cool oh my god i love it